and her name is Santa. Yes, yeah, shout out to Santa. And, um, yeah, she got some, some great passions. I'm not going to, you know, give everything away because I want you all to tune in on June 14th at 6 p.m. All right. Yay. Amen. Okay. Now, um, let's see. I wanted to go ahead and um, make an announcement. As of June the 30th, y'all, the Faith Walk with Joyce White show is going off the air with the Survival Radio Christian Network. Yes. The um, actual network, we have Survival Radio Christian Network and Survival Radio Network. The actual network will be closing down as of June 30th. And since that happens to be a Tuesday, that's going to be my last show as well. And I've got a very special uh, pastor friend of mine. Again, we went to the same high school. He has agreed to uh, come on the show to help me close it out. But don't worry, y'all. God has me going in another direction. So get ready. I will have a YouTube channel for Faith Walk with Joyce White. And, you know, I've been doing this show for six years and eight months, y'all. And that means I have maybe, yeah, let's say 300 or more episodes. So you will be able to hear those episodes on the YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel will be named Faith Walk with Joyce White. So uh, when I get it all put together and everything, I'm going to send out links and things so that you all can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Amen? Amen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But, you know, I do want to thank everyone so much for your love and support um, of me doing this live show on the Survival Radio Christian Network for six years and eight months, y'all. Six years and eight months. That's all I can say. So thank you so much. And, um, you know, continue to, you know, Speak with me. I do have a Facebook fan page under Faith Walk with Joyce White, as well as a group page under Faith Walk with Joyce White. Amen? So, yeah, I'm still out there, y'all. I'm not going anywhere. And don't forget my Twitter, Faith Walk W Joyce. Amen? I would love for you to follow me uh, over there as well. Amen. Okay, I have said enough. Let me um, get this show on the road. Yes, yes, yes. Now, um, joining me this evening, my first guest, we have R&B Christian singer, Jay Lewis. Welcome, Jay Lewis, to the show. <laughs> Honored to be here. There he is. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess your mic wasn't yes, unmuted. All I heard was your be here today. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So how are you? Um, I'm really blessed. You know what I mean? I can't complain. Like, there's a lot going on, but God is still good. So That's it. That's it. Yes, 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 there is a lot going on. All right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're here to celebrate you, my brother. So <laughs> I, just, um, I just think it's amazing. Um, later on in the show, I'm going to play um, your song. That's um, titled My Time And I was like Ooh, I love this song So <laughs> that just um, brings me to um, You know As far as you know You doing Christian, R&B Christian music Can you name um, Some of the um, You know gospel artists that may have Inspired you Wow <laughs> There's a big list But um, I definitely would say Commission um, the Winans, J. Moss, Clark Sisters, <laughs> and the list goes on. Like, just so many different um, great artists that inspired me to want to pursue being a Christian artist. Amen. Wow. Now, um, in the beginning, when, um, you know, you started uh, as a gospel artist, you were actually um, with different groups before you decided to go solo. Can you, um, like, share your, um, you know, journey into, you know, going from being in groups to deciding to be solo? Okay. Um, so I've been a part of different 
several groups, um, choirs, singing groups, um, duo groups, and even um, Christian rap groups. And what I've learned is it was a great experience for me. Um, I've dealt with a lot of things, um, trying to be, trying to fit in, like trying to be a part of something. And so that helped. Yeah. And then also just being like a part of them groups helped me um, mature in the gifts that God gave me. I didn't really realize it until I looked back. And then when I began to see like how it really helped me mature, set me up for where God was taking me to be a solo artist. But through that stage, um, obedience was a big thing right. because I was holding on to people. I was holding on to groups. I was holding on to stuff, and God was like, now nah, it's your time to, to move. It's your time to move. And the moment that I moved, the longer that I stayed ob- disobedient, nothing happened. Like, But the moment that I became obedient, it was like God opened every door. The path just started opening, and all we had to do was really just walk in and then be obedient. So I thank God for <laughs> my stubbornness, but I thank him for my obedience that allowed me to just move in this new direction. Amen. That's awesome. I mean, I'm glad that you said that word, obedience. Yes. Yes, (laughs) If we all could just be (laughs) obedient and follow God when he tells us something the first time around. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I'm guilty. I'm raising my hand. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Oh my goodness. It's um so is there like a particular reason why um you you know chose the Christian R and B genre instead of like, you know, the rap or the other type of uh, Christian uh genres out here? Um I would say because well my style is so different, it has so many different varieties because first I'm a worshiper. <laughs> so right. then I add that with um then God began to add that with Christian hip hop, then with Christian R and B. So there's like a variety of style, but it's all like blended. It makes one style. But the reason why I feel like um I'm in this position that I'm in is because I was telling Dwayne and I also told somebody else that sometimes we put ourselves in a box and sometimes we limit ourselves. So as an artist we say for example that um, I only try to reach um, minorities, um, but not everybody else. So right. being in this place, being in this platform and having like the variety now, I can reach a whole lot of ground. I can reach um, believers, encourage believers, but also I can reach people that don't believe on the outside. So that's <laughs> that's the way that I explain it in I've just been embracing, like, the gift. Because sometimes, even as a writer, I'll tell tell God no. (laughs) Or I'll second-guess God, which I don't do no more. But what I've done is, like, I second-guess God. God, do you really want me to talk about this subject? Because Mm -hmm. because in my mind, I might think that they won't accept it. Or it might not be to... It might not be up to where somebody will understand it. But then when I release it, I find out that both sides understand it, and then both sides embrace it. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to be, again, obedient and just listen and just follow. And and it has worked, and God has showed us so much through it that I'm just excited. (laughs) Amen, amen. I'm excited for you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> amen. Okay, so um, let's talk about, um, you know, your, your mixtape. Can you um, share a little um, insight on uh, your mixtape? So the mixtape is called I Go In, and um, it's just a variety of different styles <laughs> blend together I got some features on it and what the the goal again like as I was explaining the goal was to let's see if we can step out of this box and let's take all the limits off and let's reach as many people as we can reach through it and um 
through the project, it through the mixtape, like it was awesome to see that I work with a lot of unbelievers. None of them ever listen to Christian music. <laughs> they all listen to secular music. The moment that I let them listen to the mixtape, they didn't realize what they was listening to. <laughs> right. It was like this is hot. Like this is yeah, we like this stuff. <laughs> and my boss. One of my former bosses, it's funny that he told me, he said, the one thing that I like about it is that I don't have to turn it down when I'm at a stoplight. I can just let it play because he listens oh, wow. to more music that has cussing in it. So then, like, he was respectful, so he turned it down. But he was like, I can just let it play. And I don't oh, have to turn it. it down, and I can just listen to it. And And I was sharing with my wife, I said, the power of it is they might not understand what they're listening to right now, but there's a seed that's been planted that hopefully – the more that they listen to it, you never know what God will do or what will happen. But we planted that seed and then let God do the rest. But um, that's the awesome thing about the mixtape. So um, I'm ex- excited about that, excited about so much that is happening. And it's just reminding me that to be thankful, like just to be thankful to be used at such a time as this. So. Um, I just take that and just go. <laughs> That's awesome! Oh my goodness! <laughs> so now we're gonna um, fast forward. Well, not fast forward. We're gonna go back a little bit. Um, share okay. with us what um, happened to you at the end of 2019. Well, at the end of 2019, <laughs> we was um, trying to make decisions and deciding. And um, this guy had to be an angel, Mr. Lambert. His name is Randall Lambert. He had to be an angel because we never met him. We didn't know who he was. And then when he just connected with us and we sent him music and he was like, um, just said that you need to be further out and I'm going to help you. So he introduced us to Dwayne Culpepper, who is, um, Squad twenty nine eleven. <laughs> yeah. So and so we met him, <laughs> and then just the conversation was just so great. Like um, I talked to people and I told them the kind of artist that I am, and then they told me that I'm not a Christian artist. So um, just the conversation that I had with him, he understood the mission and the purpose and the vision that I had, and I was like, this fits. Like there's something yeah. about him that just fits right. So then he gave me three days, had me check up on stuff. And then um, afterwards, fast forward, we finally decided to sign with Squad 2911, which is so awesome. So that was a big blessing because I've been doing this for a while, and that's what I was telling somebody. When you've been doing something for a while, sometimes you want to give up. Sometimes you want to throw in the towel, but as long as you keep moving, as long as you keep getting up, even if you do fall, if you keep getting up and if you keep pursuing and keep being faithful, one of my old pastors who has passed away, he said that if you be faithful, God will bless you. And like, I fall and I make mistakes, but I've been faithful and God has showed up and he's blessed us with this great opportunity. And like, I'm just, I'm excited about this opportunity, meeting everybody and just being a part of Squad 2911. Like, it's awesome. Amen, amen. Now, the um, I'm forgetting what the name of those awards are. I think, was it supposed to come up in June? The, um, it's not the, mm-hmm. um, oh, the man, gospel. I can't the name. Yes. The Gospel Hip Hop Award or some, yeah. something like that. Yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we were supposed so, to I mean, go in June. Do we June. know if that's still happening? Or? Um, because of COVID-19, they had to yeah. move it. But we're, uh, I guess like they're going to redo it, but they don't know like okay. what date, specific date yet. Oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Because, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because of this COVID <laughs> stuff, a lot of things have Right. and moved and yeah yeah it's, it's it's a whole new world we're living in a whole new world <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> yeah a pastor friend of mine was um preaching on that and i was listening to that earlier before i you know came on here to do the show that's why i was quoting that <laughs> <laughs> amen okay so um it's 
far as your song, because I have like two of your songs, but tonight, you know, like I said, we're going to play the one called My Time. But at okay. one point, um, your song uh, titled They Don't Know Me, I mean, I've heard it, and I love it. I'm like, yes, oh, ma'am. my goodness. <laughs> so can you, like, share with us, um, you know, what that song, um, you know, is what it signifies? Okay. Um, so They Don't Know Me, it means – a lot of things like it can it can speak to the natural side of sometimes we deal with two faced people that sometimes yeah. when they see you they know you but when they see you and they're around other people they don't know you they don't know who you are like they forget about who you are <laughs> and uh-huh. that also but it can also deal with the enemy because sometimes Satan thinks he knows who we are. Right. And we can until we show him who we are, until we possess walk in that power and that authority and show him who we are. So it can it can go both ways. It can be the natural side and it can be the um even in the spiritual side. But the song is basically saying like um, we all have haters and we all have situations and stuff and difficult but at the end of the day, like I know who I am, and I know that I got God, and as long as I got God, it don't matter what you think about me. <laughs> you can think Amen. about whatever you think about me. You know what I mean? Like, you can think whatever you want to think about me, but I know what God thinks about me. <laughs> so that's the only thing that matters at the end. So that's what it's pretty much ties into. And the feedback is great because um, I've heard people say it's relatable on both sides. Like, so many people – I've been like, well, we we could relate to that. We could relate yep. to the song. We could relate to the message because it's real. And that yep. was one of my, and that was one of the songs that I battled with when I was talking about sometimes God be telling me to do something, and I'd be like, okay, do you really want me to go this direction? <laughs> but then Aww. when I went the direction, I followed the direction, and it's, and um, I think we're in like three months. The song has reached almost three hundred views. What? And it's just like, thank you, God, because I've had songs on YouTube that in two years they've reached 200. And I'm like, okay, like, <laughs> to back to being oh faithful and watching God, watching God move. And, like, it's awesome. Amen. That is wonderful. Oh, my goodness. So you have um, a YouTube channel? I have a YouTube channel that I'm not really active. I'm bad at <laughs> getting on it and using it because I haven't. I've used Facebook more, but I'm okay. about to get on it. But I do have a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, okay. It's funny that you say that because at the beginning of the show, I was, um, you know, telling everyone that you know, as of June 30th, um, the uh, network that I'm on is closing down. So I'm going to um, take my show and move it over to a YouTube channel, and then. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, um, you know, be diligent and and not. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. <laughs> but um, that's that's awesome though. So now you um actually have gotten into you know writing your own songs. So do you actually, do you find it, like, difficult at times um, to, you know, come up with lyrics for your songs, or do you hear God tell you and it's like it just flows naturally? Now, see, that's the crazy thing. Like, it's hard for me to explain. It's hard for me to explain, but I'll try to explain it. Oh, okay. And what I've learned in that is just being obedient, too, because um, at eight years old, around eight or 15, between 8 and 15, God gave me this gift of being able to write, and I didn't even realize what it was, but um, until now that I'm older, now I understand more more about it. So um, what usually happens in my writing process is I'll sit down and I'll listen to a beat, and then all of a sudden everything, the arrangement and the words will just flow. So then I try to catch everything <laughs> while I'm writing so um it's just like a connection like the 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 beat and the words become one somehow and then I just write it so it sounds weird to me when I explain it but I when 
when I do it, it's just like, okay, <laughs> because I'm so used to to flowing in that gift. But that's how I usually write. And sometimes it is challenging because we have, um, I have four kids, so they all love music. <laughs> so when I'm writing, Aww. sometimes it gets challenging because they want to, they want, they're listening to it. So they sing and they catch on to stuff. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much my writing process. It's usually that God just gives me the words as when I listen to the beat, and it just flows and it comes out. <laughs> that's excellent. Okay, so now um, tell us um, about the song, My Time, what it signifies. Um, so the song, My Time, is pretty much um, just a declaration is what I was sharing with my wife. Like when I wrote it, I felt like it was a declaration of God showing me and God showing other people, okay, we're in a season after season after season, but every season leads to something new. Every every season leads to something greater. Every season leads to something better. So um, it was pretty much like, okay, now I'm stepping in this season and declaring that it's my time. So, no doubt, no fear. <laughs> like I'm walking in this season in the confidence of knowing that it's my time. Okay, it's my time. You're up next. In other words, like almost like a basketball thing. Like when a substitution happens, they put the person in. So they tell him you're up next. So he has to go in and then he has to play. So it's his time to step up and to deliver. So that's what it was pretty much saying, like, it's my time. In other words, it's my season or it's it's my new level. Amen. Well, speaking of uh, new levels, <laughs> can you, like, share with us where, um, you know, God is taking you? Because it seems like we're all going to a new right. level. Because, like I said, even though my live show is ending on Survival Radio Christian Network, God's taking me mm-hmm. to a new level. Now I'm going to have right. a YouTube channel and, you know, other things are coming into play. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would just say, like, um, for an example, I'm I'm out there, but I'm not out there. But what has happened, and I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to share, <laughs> but I'm going to share because I feel like to share. But um, what has happened okay. is that we've been invited to the award show that was going to happen in June. Um, God opened up another door to an, another award show that's going to happen in, I believe, September or October. Um, the GE Summit that I never knew nothing about. Um, we, uh, um, myself, along with Shasha Martin, got invited to go to that. And um, so it was just like when you don't, when you're when you're not thinking that you're moving because you don't see stuff happening, and then like when stuff. Ha- starts happening it's just like almost <laughs> I didn't know what to say like the majority of the times when Dwayne called me and told me stuff I was like so excited like this excitement like but also this thankfulness to God and being and just like okay God okay we're taking off or we're I see what's happening so we're soaring to this new place so this new level it's just like it feels like there's just so much that I feel like in such little time that God wants us to do. So I'm just trying to be obedient in the new level. And I'm just trying to like yesterday with all the stuff going on yesterday, I began to ask God, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to be active? How do you want me to move in this place that you're taking me? Because you're putting me in places for reasons. And it's Mm -hmm. so crazy because um, I've been to a lot of, I don't know if I'm off the topic, but I just Oh, no, but I've been to a lot of I've been to a lot of shows. I've been to a lot of hip hop, sh- Christian hip hop shows, and it just felt like it felt really good, like to feel the anointing. But at the end of it, it just felt like it end. And this year, and signing with Squad Twenty Nine Eleven, it's like God told me to not let a show end. Don't let a show end without doing an altar call. Don't let That's a it. show end without giving somebody an opportunity because you can turn up all day, and that's good. <laughs> But you gotta give somebody a who cool, who knows what might happen. The person that could, could have gave their life to God, if you would have gave the, them the opportunity, might not make it. So it's like he was just saying, like at this time and at this day, we all need Jesus. Yep. So 
give everybody don't don't do a show don't do a show don't turn up without giving someone the opportunity to know me because you might not you don't know you don't know who might be right at the verge of choosing me <laughs> and, amen you know, amen so, yeah and then and I, and I feel like that's, friend oh go ahead oh you can go ahead sorry <laughs> Oh, no, I was just just getting ready to say that my good friend, Brother Al, who has been on the show many a times, um, he he just, the way he can go out and witness, and now he's doing it through Facebook, I'm like, man, I I need to step it up a little bit, because that's (laughs) what it's all about, (laughs) you know, getting out there and finding those that um, are lost and helping them to become saved, because, you know, we all know we are living in the last days. So it's time yes, to ma'am. get some, some, some souls saved so they can go to heaven with us. And, you know, right. that's what God wants us to do. That's, that's all about that great commission. <laughs> what? Yes, oh, ma'am. I was going to ask you, um, what, what's your um, favorite scripture to meditate on? Oh, there's so many. <laughs> oh. <Uh-oh. But>, um, <laughs> the one that I've been, like, really reminding myself is that I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. I just been reminding myself that um, here lately, because the more that you do for God, the more attacks that you're going to have. And the more the attacks come sometimes, like they're hard, (laughs) but you got to press and like, and I've learned like you got to press, you got to push and, Remember that you can do all things through God, and greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. So, um, the one thing that I've learned, like with that scripture, is um, the endurance. As long as you keep pushing, and I tell people this all the time, like I'm not perfect, because I think sometimes put people put the title Christian means like you're all day perfect and that you don't fall and that you don't make mistakes. So I tell people that I'm not perfect, so that way I can be. They can. Um, they don't look like I'm higher than them. Like we're on the we're right. on the same level. We're the same, but maybe I serve Jesus and you might not serve Jesus. But we're on the same we're the same people. Except the difference of serving God and you might not serving God. So when people understand that, I think that gives them an open heart to accept. So when you do an altar call <laughs> or when you do something that they accept it and so um and and I've seen it, like I've seen it work, and I've and just knowing that I've dealt with a lot of situations, like I've dealt with depression and mental abuse and all these other different things, and it has helped me. It has helped me grow to know that I can do all things through God, like and God's faithfulness and God's love has carried me and has helped me and has healed me. So Amen. that's one of my favorite Amen. scriptures. <laughs> Oh wow, no, that's that's good. That's real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now, do you like have a favorite song out of the songs that you've written? Wow, that's a hard question. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> <Sound like> um, <home. laughs> because I'm hard. I'm hard on. Like I've been hard on me. Now, here lately, it's. Like I, I like I'm a fan. Like I like almost like everything now. Oh, <laughs> but okay. before I used to be like hard, really hard on myself. Like okay, I don't know if this is good enough, and then somebody would be like, okay, yeah, that's hot. But now it's like okay, everything that God does is great. So now I'm becoming not that I'm a, so much a fan that I am that my ego blows, but it's just like okay, I like this song and I like this direction. <laughs> And this is awesome. So now it's more of like it's exciting. It's super exciting to to hear something creatively new that God does. Wow. And like, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't I don't really know which one I would pick to be. My time is definitely up there because of just the meaning of it, and and it just fits with the whole EP. So yeah, it's a hard <laughs> choice. Aww. Yeah, yeah, I like my time. <laughs> Amen. Okay, so go you know, go ahead and tell um everyone like all of your social media platforms and then where they can find your music. 
So um, I am on Facebook, and I have a J. Lewis, J. Lewis artist page. Um, I also have a Reverb Nation page, which is J. Lewis. And we also have a Instagram page, which is Booking J. Lewis, and that's where they can all reach. All find me on like social media and um, music wise. I believe that they don't know me is on all platforms and plus YouTube. So you between YouTube and all pretty much music platforms, you should be able to find some of the music that I have. And on face, I post them on the social media, so you'll be able to see the videos and the links to everything. Amen. Who that's wonderful. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, let's see. So, um, you know, basically, you know, tonight's God inspired theme was about trusting God, you know, with the details okay. of your life. And wow. that, it looks like that's what you're doing. <laughs> you're actually doing that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So that's, yeah, that definitely fits. <laughs> but um, as far as that, what could you say to someone that's listening um, that may be, you know, struggling with that, trusting God with the details of their life? The one thing that I've learned that I can share is that just remembering that God never fails. Um, Even when we feel like we might feel like he's failed us or even when we feel like that he's gone away, that he never fails, he will never fail us. He will never leave us nor forsake us, and he will never let you down. People may let you down. People may fail you, but God (laughs) is... He's just so awesome, you know what I mean? Like, he'll always be there for you, regardless. And 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 I can speak from my own experience. Because of the relationship that I have with Jesus Christ, I can say that I'm a better person. I can say that I'm a better man. I can say that because I have a relationship with God, that um, I'm not – I just feel, like, so much better because I know where I'm going. So I would rem- – would tell that person that is dealing with that to just put your trust and your hope in God because he won't fail you. And if you be faithful and if you trust him, he'll show you so much. He'll show you, he'll open up so much doors for you. He'll do so many great things for you. He'll lead you in such great directions. So I would just encourage him to know that um, because it does work. Trusting in God does work, and he won't fail. Yeah, that's right. You better tell him. You, you, y'all yeah. heard it. You heard it here first. <laughs> he will not we tell you. you. <laughs> Jay Lewis told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Man, normally at this time, um, I always tell someone, you know, this isn't, you know, goodbye. It's always until next time. But um, okay. with you, I'll say I'll see you soon because, you know, I'm also a partner with uh, Squad 2911. So I'm hoping to right. be able to see the whole team in person. That's, that's my prayer, yes, and I know it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Get to meet you and your wife and your four beautiful children. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Amen. But, you know, I want to thank you so much. Um, it's been a joy, a pleasure to be able to speak with you, learn about your music and and how you've gotten, you know, where you are today and, you know, where, you know, uh the next level that God's taking you to. I'm just I'm just yeah. so happy for you. <laughs> so keep sure and I thank good you music. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so this is the time where I say have a blessed powerful and productive (laughs) week and a positive week. I can't forget that word positive. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Amen. (laughs) So have a blessed night. All right. You too. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) All right. Good night. (laughs) Good night. (laughs) Yay. Amen, y'all. Amen. Well, as I promised, it's time for My Time by Jay Lewis. Following that, Without You by Sha Sha Martin. You're listening to Faith Walk with Joyce White on the Survivor Radio Christian Network. I'll be right back after these 
beautiful song. I've been doing this thing for a long time I've been putting in work, putting in the time They can throw shade at me, I'ma keep on shining Dedicated to the end, I'ma keep on grinding I've been doing this thing for a long time I've been putting in work, putting in the time They can throw shade at me, I'ma keep on shining Dedicated till I die All I do is work. I put in that work. I put in that work. Take this serious. This is not a game to me. I go hard every chance I get to do this. God is on my side, so I don't worry about a thing. I be chasing so then y'all can keep on chasing fame. I don't do this for the fame or for the name. I do this 100 cause I'm trying to make a change. Got new swag with that new drip. New sauce, you that new dip. I am the one on the mission. I wanna up till I finish. I got new swag with that new drip. New sauce, you that new dip. I am the one on the mission. I wanna up till I finish. I've been doing this thing for a long time. I've been putting in work, putting in the time. They can throw shade at me, I'ma keep on shining. Dedicated till I die, I'ma keep on grinding. Tell them that it's my time. 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 This is the make, I got a lot of this is the make. I gotta stay right here, boy, I gotta stay Stay focused on what I'm called to do I can't lose, I gotta push through Now I'm walking in my season Yeah, I'm getting my breakthrough After it's all said and done, I'll be coming out like brand new I'm walking in my season Yeah, I'm getting my breakthrough After it's all said and done, I'll be coming out like brand new I've been doing this thing for a long time I've been putting in work, putting in the time Taking through
make it, give my arm a hesitation. I give you all my heart when it's broken. I need a ticket. I know you'll fill me up when it's time for the bacon. You prove it to be real. I just can I fake it? You are never wrong, God. You give me my song, God. But you love alone, God. Cause it makes me strong, God. Oh, you bless me again. So I spread the word and tell my friends. You giving me strength so no one else can. So I just send you what you see a plan. No one can never take all by the way. When they try my face, I get down and pray. Thank you for being on time, no delay. And showing me light when it's doing me a great. Hey. If you're just now tuning in, you're listening to Faith Walk with Joyce White on the Survivor Radio Christian Network. Again, the two songs that just played were My Time by Jay Lewis and Without You by Shasha Martin. Speaking of Shasha Martin, she's my next guest, y'all. Yes, yes. Gospel hip hop singer Shasha Martin. Let's welcome her back to the show. Good evening, Shasha. How are you? Hello? Can you hear me, Shasha? <laughs> okay. Well, um, while we're waiting for Shasha, um, let me go back and let's see. Uh, wanted to. Um, okay. All right. Okay, Sasha, can you hear me? All right. Okay. Uh, looks like we're having a slight technical difficulty, but that's all good because I always um, have a uh, wonderful, um, you know, uh, what do I call that? Um, morning blessing, blessing, if I can say the word. Yeah. Um, morning blessing to share with you all. Um, let me dig into my files. Let's see. Let's see. Dig into my files. Okay. So um, <laughs> it's hard doing five things at once. But um, I just, uh, let's see, wanted to see if I can find it. Um, here we go. On, um, let's see. Yep, here it is. It starts out with, sometimes we cling too tightly to the very thing God is asking us to lay before him. Why are we afraid? It is because he's not good. Do we fear our best days are behind us? If that's you, it's time for a reset. So whenever we cling to anything but Jesus, we're the ones who lose. May he pour out fresh grace to trust him more. May he stir up the faith you need to let go and let God. So may he tilt your chin upward so you will dare to hope even before your eyes see the good land up ahead. So open your hands and trust him. He's a good, good God, and he loves you so very much. Breathe deeply and rest in him. And then uh, my good friend, Ardrina Howell, she um, put in Psalm 28, 7, which reads, the Lord is my strength and my impenetrable shield. My heart trusts with unwavering confidence in him, and I am helped Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I shall thank him and praise him. Amen, amen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And she actually um, shared that on Monday, and um, I just wanted to um, share with you all 
um, you know, how good God is and how, um, you know, God really, you know, works because um, it seems like um, every time there's something that I'm dealing with or, you know, God wants to uh, give me an answer to something, he has brought my good friend Adrena Howell's morning blessings to me, and it has always, I mean always, been a right on time message. So I just, you know, want to thank God for uh, Miss Audrina Howe. She's also one of my TLA sisters. And I just want to, you know, thank um, God for bringing her into my life. Uh, we met years ago. Um, we were acting in, um, it's like the kind of skits that you would see on Saturday Night Live, but we were um, doing this for a playwright. Her name's Heather. And um, that's how I met Audrina. And um, it was just, it was just wonderful. Um, She is a phenomenal actress, a phenomenal woman of God. She is a fierce uh, model on the runway. So remember June 14th, y'all, you better come on out. You better come on out. Well, not come on out, but tune in to a Facebook live. I keep forgetting, boy, this COVID stuff has got me all discombobulated. But, yeah, come on out on June 14th and uh, watch us rip the runway. But, again, um, it's just amazing how, you know, God can just put different people um, into your life and they can just speak life into you um, through, you know, morning blessings, uh, maybe through a word uh, from one of the wonderful pastors that I like to, you know, follow um, on the TBN channel. It's just it's just amazing. I mean, you know, why not trust God with the details of your life? You will not, I mean, not <laughs> um, be disappointed. And I am, you know, so glad um, that during this time of, you know, being in quarantine and not being able to be out socially and stuff, I am just so glad that I've been able to self-reflect, um, listen, you know, to what you know, God is is showing me and where God is taking me uh, in this, um, you know, next journey phase of my life. I mean, it is just, just, it's just phenomenal. I mean, sometimes I I can't even put the words together to tell y'all, you know, what a good God we serve. And I just want to, you know, tell everyone, you know, go out there and do, like I was um, sharing with Jay Lewis, let's do that great commission. Let's reach these lost souls out here. Um, Do like Brother Al, witness on Facebook. I mean, we've got um, this wonderful social media platform. You know, you got your Facebook, your Instagram. Instagram has lives, you know. Get on there. Um, Do a uh, live um, and, you know, do, um, you know, what the Lord is instructing you to do. And let's let's get out here and, you know, get these souls saved. Um, you know, we are living in the last days. I know people probably get tired of, you know, pastors and people in general saying that, but it's it's the truth. So um, it's time for us to wake up um, and just, you know, do what thus says the Lord. And um, I just um, also wanted to share with you, I forgot I was going to say this earlier, but I um, took a talents and gifts test and come to find out my number one um, gift and talent is exhortation. Isn't that something? I was like, what? So all these times before I created um, Faith Walk with Joyce White show, six years and eight months ago, y'all, yep, yep, believe it or not, I was already on Facebook, and I was sharing inspirational messages and things and, you know, trying to um, uplift people, inspire and encourage And then this opportunity came to me, and I decided, hey, if I can be inspiring people on Facebook um, every day, why not turn this into a um, radio ministry? And, yes, Faith Walk with Joyce White Show was born six years and eight months ago. I know I keep saying that, but, hey, there's a meaning behind that because we know that um, eight means new beginnings. (laughs) You know, seven is completion. Yeah, I've been looking up um, uh, the meaning of numbers uh, biblically. (laughs) Amen. So, yeah, again, these are things you can do now that we have all this wonderful space.
spare time. Yeah, get into your word, read your word, you know, commune with God. Um, uh, what was it? Pastor Womack was saying this morning about, um, he's talking about praying. Praying is a conversation with God, not getting up there and reciting, um, you know, this uh, scripture, that scripture, just talk to God. Like I'm talking to you right now on the radio and believe it or not, he will answer you. He will speak to you. He gives you the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is the one that's communicating with you. So yeah, why not? Um, this, as I'm going to say, give God a try. Yes. You won't be disappointed. Amen. Amen. But um, I do want to um, go ahead and share with you that um, on Thursdays now, I um, am honored to be hosting a moment with a pastor. So um, this week's scripture that Minister um, uh, Jackie Williams and uh, Pastor Laura, she spells it L-O-R-A, will be, um, you know, breaking it down and making it plain for us. It's going to come from... uh, 2 Thessalonians 3.16. I'm doing this off of memory, y'all, so this has got to be all God, okay? So, you know, please, please um, join us at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to recite the phone number. I hope I get it right. Help me, Lord. It is (laughs) 712-770-4010. And then the access code is 807 495 Pound. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. So I want um, you all to be there because I'm telling you, Pastor Laura and Minister Jacqueline uh, Williams, they can break a scripture down and you will understand it. And I'm not just saying it because I'm able to understand it, but if I'm able to understand it, you will understand it because I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. So, um, you know, please join us. And again, that's going to be this Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember, okay? So the number is 712-770-4010. And the access code is 807-495-POUND. Amen? Amen. Now, also... Um, I know I got like two minutes left, so I'm talking quick. But I do want to take this time um, right now to, um, you know, do a quick shout out to the man who made this possible for me to be uh, on the air with the Faith Walk with Joyce White show, um, Clark Garrison. He gave me this opportunity. Uh, he gave me the, the, the platform to be on the Survivor Radio Christian Network, uh, believe it or not. I'm one of the um, original um, three people that, um, you know, started out when um, the network began uh, six years ago in uh, uh, September. And um, I just, you know, want to thank him so much um, for, you know, being there with me um, through thick and thin. Because remember when Jay Lewis was saying, you got to be consistent. And when things get hard, you can't give up. I mean, he was there with me, and so um, none of this would be possible without um, Clark Garrison giving me the opportunity uh, to to have this platform. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, Clark. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got one minute. So um, remember, we've got Christina Lockett coming up at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time with a message of hope. Yes, yes, you'll want to tune in to her show. So if you dialed 563-999-3084 to listen to my show, dial that number again to listen to her show as well. You don't want to miss, ladies and gentlemen, this show that um, Miss Christina Lockett is doing because It's going to be her last show. But she's got big things going on, too, and she's going to a new level. And if you tune into her show tonight, I know she's going to share that information with you, and I don't want to, you know, spoil it, so I'll let her tell y'all, okay? But um, be back here again next week because, yeah, Faith Walker Joyce White show is going all the way until June 30th. And I've got Miss 
Tarisha Wade, who is an intercessor prayer. Yes. So you don't want to miss the show next week because she's going to be on that full hour. I'm giving her the full hour. And it's time for us, you know, to go before the Lord in prayer. So, uh, you know, be back here again next Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And always remember to live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly, and leave the rest to God. You all have a blessed, powerful, positive, and productive week. And I want to see you back here again next week. Good night. Sometimes it seems like you can't find your way. Take a step and walk my face. Now step to the right, one time. Right. Right.